when I was being interviewed for the job, I mentioned that I'd seen a couple of episodes of Desmond's when I was a little kid, and that just seems to, you know, blow the interviewer away. Uh, so here I am. I got the job about three or four years ago when the BBC first realised that everybody really, really likes Idris Elba. So they thought, you know what, why don't we put a few more E-minors, that's slang for ethnic minorities, into lead roles. Uh, there's more than one Adrian Lester, as I like to put it. The biggest thing we've probably achieved since I've been here is the show Undercover, um, starring Adrian Lester, uh, which has two black leads. That's right, two, in the main parts. Um, I didn't watch it personally, uh, but people seem to love it. You know, that was a huge deal. What else? Um, uh, I mean, that had two, two in the lead. Let me just have a... Uh, well, there was the night manager uh, that had um, two um, E-miners in it as well. I mean, they weren't in every episode or on the poster, but that still counts, right? You want E-miners with parts big enough that they were on the poster. Let me just see what... Um, Happy Valley, no, none on the poster for that. Uh, Wolf Hall, N no, none on the poster for The Living and the Dead, nope. Call the Midwife, no. <laughs> uh, Poldark, no. Peaky Blinders, no. Sherlock, no. W1A, uh, oh, looks like there's half of one there. Uh, War and Peace, oh, Paul Dano was in there. He's mixed race, isn't he? No? No, it looks it. Um, Jamaica Inn. There's got to be one on the poster for that. Oh, no, surprising. Dr. Foster, no. New tricks, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, and then there were none, nope. It, is Aidan Turner definitely not half something? Yeah, it'd be useful if he was. London Spy, no. But they were all gay, so, I mean, you can't you can't put everything in, in, in at once. It would be um, overkill. Mrs. Brown's boys, <laughs> no way. Um, Citizen Khan, yes, hilarious. Again, I haven't watched it, but four series. Uh, oh, that reminds me of Muslim Lady One Bake Off. I mean, that wasn't directly down to me, but it happened on the BBC. Um, Murdered by My Father, no, let's move on. Will I Am? I mean, look, uh, a lot of these are period dramas and they're set during a time, you know, before black people were really invented, so you can't just chuck one in there. Um, but if we do do a period drama that's sort of set, you know, in a fictional reality, um, say like Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, uh, there was a, a E minor in that who had a massive part. Um, I mean, he was still a butler, an evil butler, but swings and roundabouts. Ah, Musketeers. That's a huge one. There's two in that. Uh, that one dude's half Spanish or Cuban or something, and, and Dog Tanyon's Indian. Mind blown. Look, yeah, I mean, we're not there yet. We've still got a little bit of a way to go, but I think we're in a pretty good place. What have we got coming up? Loads of stuff. Uh, you know, I can't go into a specific details right now, but um, just, you know, we'd really like to make some more Luther. Like, that would be fantastic, actually. I mean, seriously, uh, Idris, if you're watching, come and make some more Luther with us. Please, pretty please. What about disabled people? Uh, what do you mean? We've had quite a few ramps put in. Oh, you mean in the drama? That would be chaos. Uh, how would they interact with the props or open doors? Uh, anyway, that wouldn't be my department. There must be a head of disabled or something. We took a lot from the big style icons uh, of today. Um, you know, Pharrell, uh, Depp, uh, Beckham. He was very much like, keep it simple. Keep it simple, Gabe. Um, he really liked like slang, like mug. I want a lot of rebalancing and a complete mug who wants no rebalancing at all. Yeah.